What's up, family? Got a great one for you today. We got a great host to help us today. So, <laughs> a lot of maturity here in this one here. This video here, we're gonna call it Burning Bridges. And we are all too familiar with any and every family in the world where you're dealing with family, friends, neighbors, co-workers. You know, you may have done something for someone from the kindness of your heart. Not that you're looking for something in return, but sometimes you just say, why don't people know how to reciprocate that respect back or be accountable when they're supposed to be accountable? And the word accountable simply means responsible. Mm -hmm. It's almost like integrity. Uh, follow through with what you're saying. Take responsibility for what you're saying. Mm -hmm. Anyone else want to add something? I just, I, I just like the word that you inserted, mm -hmm. integrity. Yes. Okay. To me, that's vitally important. Very. That's, that's vitally important. Okay. Mm -hmm. Always tell me the truth. Yes. Always tell me the truth. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to react any differently. Yes. You know, if I'm going to help you, mm -hmm. I'm going to help you. Mm -hmm. If I'm not, I'm not. Yes. So you don't have to lie. Yes. You don't ever have to lie. See, now I love that. And I'm not going to judge you mm -hmm. for whatever your needs are. Mm -hmm. That's right. Because, you know, we've always, we've, all of us have been there at some point in time. Absolutely. So I'm never going to judge you for whatever it is that you need. Never. That's cool. Because who am I? See, now I know I like that when she said, Great tell point. me the truth. Yes. Don't lie. Because the thing that I've always said many times before is, if I'm telling you the truth, you may not like what I'm saying at the time, but when you take time to calm down and be rational, Absolutely. you got to respect the fact. Yeah, I didn't like what you said, but you told me the truth. Yeah. I see that. A lot of times, you know, people can't handle the truth. That's what I mean. Yeah. Exactly. Truth. You know what I mean? Okay, yeah. you got to learn how to, you know, kind of go or counteract that thing. Mm -hmm. you know, you know, because once you start lying, mm -hmm. you know, you're going to contradict them all them lies you know, told 15,000 times. You yes. Know what I mean? Absolutely. And they're going to come back to haunt you. Yes. So be accountable. But I also believe that the reason why people lie is because it's easy. Mm -hmm. It's easy and there's no consequences behind it, mm -hmm. the truth. Uh, but when it's the truth, they feel as if it's, it's so much on top of the truth that you have to explain yourself when it could mm -hmm. be very simple. Mm -hmm. Yes. But with the, with the lies, it could just be something real quick to say and that's that. And there's no accountability about it. Now, you said accountability is easy to tell a lie. Remember, we just watched that that judge. I love how the judge made the guy accountable. They was having the court proceedings through, a, what do you call it, a Zoom or whatever on yeah. the phone? Oh. Where they could see the guy. Yeah. The, the court proceedings was about, he was driving. With the suspended license. Was, oh, you see that? Yeah. He oh, was driving with a suspended license. <laughs> and that's what the court proceedings was about. So they called him, he, his dumb butt answered the phone, and they literally watching him driving. The when judge. He got it, the judge is watching him driving, and they said, Mr. Taylor, let's just say. They said, uh, are you with us? He said, yeah, I'm, give me a second, I'm parking right now. And the judge went like that. He said, can you believe this? They got, we can't make this up. Can, can you believe this? And then again, then five minutes later, he said, Mr. Teller, he said, yeah, I'm parking right now. He's like, now, do you know what these proceedings are about? Mm -hmm. and, uh, driving with no license. And you're actually driving now. Mm -hmm. And then the judge said to him, he said, you're going to be here today at 2 o'clock. And he, right away, he, he, the judge made him accountable. Yeah. He said, well, Your Honor, I, 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 I can't make it at 2. Um, I, I got something to do. He said, no, no, you're going to be here at 2 o'clock. You understand what I'm telling you? He told, you're going to be here. He said, but, well, then, he tried to be smart. He said, well, then, Your Honor, I guess... I guess you're just going to have to keep going without me. He said, no, no. Yeah. Listen, either you're going to be here at 2 o'clock or a bench warrant going out for you, Absolutely. and you're still going to be here, but now you're going to be locked up. Yeah. He held him accountable. Yeah. And right away, all of a sudden, the guy was like, oh, okay, I guess I'll be there too. Yeah, <laughs> we'll make you accountable. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's, it's a, accountability keeps us honest. <laughs> it does. You know, if, if, if let's say we... Henry and Linda, we're going to be there at uh -huh. 2. Uh -huh. Well, it's 3 o'clock. You all have already prepared a meal mm -hmm. for us. Mm -hmm. It's 3 o'clock. It's 4 o'clock. And we're still not there yet. You <laughs> know what I'm saying? Day. Yeah. <laughs> and, 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 and so be account. If I tell you 2 o'clock, you know, yeah. of course things happen. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know. But if I tell you at 2 o'clock, normally I'm going to be there 10 till 
Yes. Uh, or a little bit after too. Yes. Because I'm being accountable. I yeah. told you I was going to be there. And then so I want to be a person of my word. I'm going to be there. Yes. Right. And if something comes up, then let me inform you. But there yes. are so many times that you make appointments with people and especially with me in the tax business and they, mm -hmm. you know, Okay, I have an opening at 1 o'clock. Can you mm -hmm. be here? Yes, ma'am. It's 1.30. Yes. Miss Pam, I'm on my way. No, you're not. <laughs> no, ma'am, you're not. No. Don't come. Mm -hmm. And it's mm -hmm. crazy what you're saying. I'm sorry about no, that. No, it's all you told Because you. the thing is that even in in court, do you, yeah. know, do you know when you could be in court and you have a time yes. to be there in yes. court? Yes. And even the judge is not even there oh, at the, the same time. Right. Yeah. Uh -huh. So how yeah. is people going to take life seriously when it comes to timing, when you're telling mm -hmm. them something that you have to be responsible? Yeah, how are they going to expect to be um, responsible and serious about it? When the people in when the authority are. When the people are. in authority, <laughs> yes, thank yeah. you. Yeah. And I like the other part that y'all both touched on, where it says, uh, that's a phase I've always used. Um, being on time, being early is on time. Yeah. Being on time is doing the bare minimum. Mm -hmm. And being late is just not acceptable. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And see, Pam gets me a lot too because you know, she knows how I am. You know, I love pepping people. You know? mm -hmm. and, uh, and when I get out there, man, and I'm pepping I'm I'm you. Mm -hmm. But yet, you're not of being uh, accountable mm -hmm. on what you're saying, you know. Yes. I'm here to help you, mm -hmm. but you, you, you know, you, you, you playing around with these lies. Yeah. 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 See, now you're running the bridge now. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. yeah. You're running that bridge. Yeah. You know? <laughs> what happened next time you in? Oh. Mm -hmm. now, how can I help you? You ain't helping yourself. Absolutely. You know, that why I do it all for you. Sacrifice of my time to help you. Mm -hmm. And you bull crap. Yeah. And it's and frustrating. Then, and then you get an mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's not true. Yeah. yeah. But it, it's frustrating to me because they take they take advantage of his kind heart. Yes. You know. Yes. And then here I am saying, Well you do remember how they did you the last time. So at some point All the time know, before that. So all the time before that. Now you touch on I got a great story to ask. And a time before that. So at what point do you reach your limit too? Because it's both sides. You Thank know what I'm saying? You. You're because right. us, if you're not going to hold them accountable, then you're going to enable. Yep. And mm -hmm. enabling is is what we do. One of the worst things that we do. Yeah. You know, especially with our children. Oh. Yeah. You know. Well, yeah, I'll give you those twenty dollars. The next mm -hmm. week, yeah, I'll loan you twenty four. Well, you didn't give me the twenty you just got, but I'm going to give you twenty more. Mm -hmm. Remember so we said the lady kept buying the car. Yeah. It kept wrecking. Yeah. And so. <laughs> Like, well, you know, <laughs> we, we enable them. And so because we enable them, we don't make them accountable for a lot of stuff. See, the way you get on Marv, mm -hmm. that's how she get on me. Mm -hmm. She's like, babe, you, you know, you keep helping, but it's like, right. they not, it's like at some point you got to say enough's enough. Yeah. This is ridiculous. They're not right. trying to help themselves. Good night. And so I mean, I'm like, so do, do you have a limit? Yeah. You know, because like, you got to reach your limit. People will use you up until you can no longer be used. No, if you allow yourself to be used, People will use you up so you yeah. can no longer be you. Yeah. Well, no it's like way. what we always say, nice people finish last. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But, so, yeah. And it's, and it's sad. It is mm -hmm. sad and pitiful mm -hmm. because why it has to be that way? People taking advantage of the nicest people mm -hmm. don't have that respect. Right. Yeah. Now they got to right. turn different and now that person that was nice now becomes a different person mm -hmm. and that person now is the problem. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then oh, the one no. thing is what happens we Yeah, there you go. Thank you. Yes. I, I got a great story. But, all right, let me get to the okay. story on text. And I expound on this. There's this video right now that's all on the internet of this young lady at like a um, like a Chuck E. Cheese type of like a thing for kids. Mm -hmm. Like a little amusement for kids. They had a pizza party and all that. But she's crying. And then she's talking all the camera. First of all, stop putting all your business on the yeah, internet. Dude. Why do people think the internet is your... Care. That's, Therapist. That's, 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 why do you think the yeah. Why do you care? care. Yeah. 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 So she's all yeah. in the internet. She's yeah. all in the camera and she's talking and she's crying. And it's almost like you can read the little boy's mind what he's saying because the mother's crying and she's looking at the camera. She's like, this don't make no sense. Look at this damn table. It's empty. This is my son's birthday party. And look at this place. It's crowded with people and ain't nobody here at my table. My family and my friends yeah. and no MFs come. And I swear to God. I'm, I'm telling you, Frank, I'm going to do something right now. But I'm telling you, none of you mother ever 
better than that. Nobody needs to nothing. Because I'm telling you, I ain't coming to my cell. My son, oh my God. She's going to cry. So, like I'm saying to my wife, I said, first of all, she put a business out there. Second of all, mm -hmm. let me tell you, I don't know this lady. I said, but let me tell you why none of her family, you mean not one, not one family member or friend there. I said, you know why they're not there? Because she's not accountable. Mm -hmm. I said, you know why? Because when, when her auntie invited her to the house for a family gathering, you know what she told her auntie? Oh, auntie, I'm sorry I didn't come, but... That day, me and, me and Marcus was arguing that day, and I couldn't make it. Yes, indeed. When, when your yes, grandmother indeed. told you to come over because it was a family function, you told your grandmother, oh, my daughter was sick that day. Mm -hmm. When your friend told you, invited you to her daughter's stuff, you told her, oh, I caught a flat. You always got an excuse, therefore you're not accountable. Not so yet. now all of these people realize when we have something, she always got excuses for us. Mm -hmm. She's never accountable. Mm -hmm. But then when she has something, she want all of them. So it's ironic. Maybe they all got together and said, no, nah, ain't none of us supporting her. Mm -hmm. And now it's a shame her son had to be embarrassed like that. Because little kids are brutally honest. Yeah. Imagine the other kids in that place. They probably seen little Joseph and they said, at school, little Joseph, no, nobody, nobody came to his party. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a shame. Yeah. 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 So that's what made me think when you said that. Mm -hmm. When you doing for others and then they don't do for you. When yeah. you mention Mark. Because yeah. you're right. And that's what that lady has done. Because I've known a lot of women. I hate to say it. Matter of fact, get on me. I don't mind. I've known a lot, mostly women. They will come up with all these excuses. And this is a common one they say. When they're not going to be accountable, they go, we'll let you know. Yes, most women. We'll let you know. Like, let me know. What do you mean? When you threw something, we was there. Yeah. When you said one o'clock, we was there at one o'clock. When you threw something again, we was there. Yeah. So I don't need to hear all these excuses. And yeah. we'll let you know. Yeah. Let me know that you're yeah. bullcrapping. You're not accountable. And, and when you say that, I know you're not coming anyway. Mm -hmm. when, Thank you. When, when you say, Thank you. okay, well, I'll let you know. That means you ain't coming. Just tell me you're not interested. Mm -hmm. like, just tell me you're not interested. But now it makes me say... You got some nerve. Yeah. Not only did I show up at your event for you and yeah. your family, but I showed up on time. Mm -hmm. I, brought a gift. I brought a gift. I even helped put stuff together. Yeah. I was accountable yeah. and I was helpful. Yeah. And then this is the pay I get, the respect I get back that mm -hmm. you don't want to show none of that graciousness, thankfulness I gave you. Yeah. Okay. I'm just not messing you no more. And now it be that late. Yeah, you get to that, then it gets to that point. Yeah. 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 Where, where, and then it's the woe is me. That's what they do. They what they do. Me. Nobody they does, do. Nobody does me right. So they they don't they give the full story. Yeah. <laughs> They're never going to give you the back story. Mm -hmm. Like, they didn't do it for me because I had a whole lot of opportunities to do it for them mm -hmm. and never showed up. Mm -hmm. And so now, this is the result of that. Mm -hmm. This is the result of that. Yeah. You know, and it's it's, it's about um action reaction. Yeah. Consequences. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Those are the consequences. That little boy had to suffer because your mother is not accountable, and he he was like rubbing up against her. It's almost like you could read his mind, like, "Mommy, it's okay. It's just why don't we just have fun, just me and you, mommy?" But you see, he was sad. But but I say all the time, and as adults, we make decisions <coughs> and not based on consequences mm -hmm. or the effects that they'll have on our children. Yes. You know, so it, it's like, you know, and, and, and I don't want to get too deep biblical, but it does say that the sins of the father. I've heard. I've read it. Are visited upon the son. So that means, you know, a whole lot of stuff mm -hmm. that you do. It's going to I've seen you do it. Yeah. I yeah. think it's the norm. Yes. So I do it. Mm -hmm. You know, your daddy, I'm daughter. Mm -hmm. Your daddy, I'm daughter. And... Mm -hmm. It's the norm. Mm -hmm. My daddy told Mr. So-and-so he was going to come help him cut the grass. Mm -hmm. But then I heard him tell a lot that he had to work late. And that's so. You know it was a lot. Like, yeah. Well, my daddy tell so him then him. when you become an adult, mm -hmm. and my boss told me he needed me to do this, but I told him I was sick. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a cycle. Well, it's it. a cycle. Mm -hmm. and, and, and at what point, first of all, do we show our children that accountability is important. Yes. That yep. you can't burn these bridges because you never know who you're going to need or you, you know. never know yeah. at any given time who's going to pop up there for you. Yep. Yep. So, and, and my mama says this all the time, do all you can while you can. Yes. You know, 
for people. And I'm saying I'm not saying let them use you, mm -mm. but do all you can while you can. Mm -hmm. And it makes you know it holds you accountable. It's, yes. You know, if I tell you I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna do. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm gonna do it. And if I can't do it, I'm gonna say, well, no, nah, I'm not. And don't it feel wonderful when someone just mentions your name? They're like, oh, you talking about Pam? Oh, she gonna be there. She says she gonna be there? Oh, right. you ain't gotta worry about her. Right. She gonna be there. Matter of fact, she gonna bring something to you. You ain't gotta worry about her. Absolutely. Now, you talking about Tracy? Now, that's a different Girl, show. Girl, she gonna come. Oh, don't get me started on Tracy. Yeah, that's Tracy. Tracy gonna come. She gonna come late. She gonna take all the food away. She gonna take the gift that she brought. She brought the bowl of wine. She's gonna take that back home. You know, that kind of stuff. But... We all know that about Tracy. Yes, yes. And we stop being offended by it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. a lot of times, you know, if I do something, you, especially when I was younger, if I did something for you and I asked you to do something for me, I expect for you to do it. And then I get offended. And then I'm going to stop messing with you. I'm gonna, it, that's a bridge burn. That's a bridge. Title of the video. Burn that's bridge. a bridge. You know, that's, that's a, a bridge. bridge. That's a bridge burn. Yep. Because every time I need you, you're never there. But yep. every time you need me, you I'm know you got me on the spot. I know I can rely on them. Yeah. Rely on them. Yeah. But see, that's the that's the thing what you were saying, how a kid, a child grows, mm -hmm. it's a certain extent where they see so many things in their family. They mm -hmm. say, Okay, well, this is the way it um they doing things and they become successful on saying certain things even when they lie. Mm -hmm. So I I should be I should be the same way. Absolutely. But now but now yeah. you're old enough to know. No. Come on. No. You're old enough <laughs> to know what it is and Absolutely. what it's not. So how in the world it would be such a shame you're 40, you're 45, you're 50, mm -hmm. and you still with the nonsense knowing that that's wrong? Yeah. No, but I'm not yeah. gonna tolerate that because I'm not gonna be like family. Go. I'm gonna be the person that makes yeah. me the best. Mm -hmm. well, so well, you can have no well, excuses. Yeah. You Absolutely. can have no excuses. Absolutely. Absolutely. So the thing is that if I know I can't go through this side of the street mm -hmm. because it's gonna be a lot of trials and all that, no, I'm gonna go to the right one. Yeah. Even those yeah. I've seen it coming on this one, yeah. but I'm gonna go on the right path. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I maybe someone, maybe the younger cats, the new generation, can learn from me. Mm -hmm. Because so uh, you know, back in my day, you know, mm -hmm. the kids, you know, they wasn't as smart as now that the kids are today, this generation today. Mm -hmm. They come out smart. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You got to watch what you say around them and mm -hmm. what you do around them. Mm -hmm. You gotta do it one time. You'll yeah. yeah, never forget it. They, they store up in a hard drive. You know? mm -hmm. You'll never forget it, man. Yeah. You're gonna come out there and embarrass you with it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now you're mad now. You know what I mean? What you mad for? You know? Yeah, Just you want to talk. Yeah, to. You taught me. Your kid might not say it, and you know, at the time he was scared to bust him inside the head, but you know, <laughs> you know what I mean? You know? All right. Now this thing, as of age now, they talking now. They yeah. yeah. see it now. Yeah, boy, you they see it now. Yeah. My sister did that to me. <laughs> exactly what you talking about. Remember, yeah. my sister had, like like the comedian Monique said, she said, you ever have on a, a real nice outfit and you feel like enough people didn't see you? So you got to go other places because you want people to see you. Yeah. 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 I'm looking right. fresh. Right. No, right. That was my sister on this particular day. She had a new haircut. She had a fresh outfit. Yeah. So it was like. 11, 30, 12 o'clock at night. She's like, I'm coming by your house. I'm uh, like, she must have got a new outfit. Right. She must have right. got Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> she she oh, came wow. by and we chat for a little bit. She was in my house for like three minutes. I was like, all right, well, I got to go. I said, you just got here. Yeah. And then I said, well, look, give me your number. So I gave you, I said, because I called that last number you had. But this was she messed up. What you were just saying, little kids are smart. Yeah. She had brought her grand, my, she had brought her son's daughter with her. The little girl was probably about four years old. She brought her with her. And she don't know the lie yet. Everything come out true. Right. <laughs> so, right. so this is what my sister messed up. So now I said, uh, I said Linda, give me your give me your phone. I said, take my number down. I, so she rolls out her phone and she goes, what's your number? So I give her my number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I give her my number. And she's putting it in. As she's putting the phone number in, the little grandbaby says, Grandma, what you doing? That phone don't even work. Oh. <laughs> Right away, my sister said, Why well, don't you shut up when yeah. grown folks talk? Because yeah. ain't nobody yeah. talking to you, little fast hands. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And then I said, I said to my sister, I said, hey, Come on, let me see. Yo, why are you, why are you, yo, the phone don't even work. Why are you doing that? Why? Why, why are you even playing? No, She's no. like, No, but I got to get it fixed. I said, Yeah, only I just ratted on you. <laughs> 
Why didn't you just say, hey, write it down like we did the old fashioned way? Put it on a piece of paper. Yeah. That was so funny. Oh, my gosh. I'm ready to write it down. But see, that's the thing. Children, we're getting a new phone. Yeah. 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 Work. But children will expose you. She exposed the work. That's the problem. They will expose you. And you're sitting up there. Well, no, no. You said, Mommy, you said you weren't stuck, Miss Hodge. Shut up. Yeah. Shut up. Yeah. But we got spat back here. You do it like, oh, yeah. Well, I said, shut up. Let me talk about it. You know I'm going to be lying. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, God. And, so, and when they get in the car, you get, they get the business. Oh, yeah. I told you about being in the car. Yeah. Oh, honey, you get But then the kids try to figure out, so I'm getting a beat because. I told, I the, told truth, the truth. And you lied, man. Yeah. You lied. Like, <laughs> like, back in the day, we weren't allowed to. When we had grown people to run, 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 run y'all go outside and play. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Ain't got to refine no grown people. But we yep. expose our kids to huh? a whole lot of stuff. Though. Yeah. It's, it's totally it. different today, baby. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm. They all in your business. All in your business. It is. So, like that, that's why she got exposed. Yeah. She got exposed. She got exposed. She couldn't handle it. But most bridges. To me, that are, are, are burned or mm-hmm. within a family unit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. You know. Mm-hmm. And most of the time, it's like they were drug, they were on drugs, mm-hmm. or they were on alcohol, alcohol mm-hmm. or something. Because, I mean, you can see it where two people were raised up in the same house and they're totally different people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Okay, you know, Pam, I need 20 dollars. Mm-hmm. Um, $20 short on my utility bill, $20 short on my phone bill. Yep. Um, can you give it to me and I'll give it back to you tomorrow? Tomorrow never comes. Tomorrow never comes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then when you do it and do it and do it, and then you start saying no, then you're the B mm-hmm. world. Mm-hmm. I know she got it. Yeah. You know, so I now I don't even say, well, no, I don't have it. Uh, yeah. I got it, but I can't give it to you. Wow, I tell you, Mario, me and her are the same thing. No, I just said that. So, no, I said no. I don't want a lot of someone to say I don't got it. I, don't I, just, have it. I just say I just no, nah, I can't do it. I can't do it. I'm not gonna do it. I'm mm-hmm. I'm sorry. And mm-hmm. then so then it's this blank, mm-hmm. you know, it, it's radio silence oh. because they're saying I can't believe you're saying you got it, but you're she not. Told me no. Right, mm-hmm. right. Yeah. 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 Tell me no. no. Oh, she's going to bring up all kind of stuff now. Of How about that time that you hold oh, my baby yeah. dog? Yeah. How about bringing up stuff when y'all was five years old? Exactly. Like, <laughs> exactly. About that today. They don't let, they don't never kill the kid, no. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's, that's yeah. very detrimental. Yeah. You say no. Sometimes we might like, hell no. Yeah. yeah. Right. So, yeah. But, but. And they got to be told no as an adult. That's when you hit them off the hand. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Mm-hmm. But you, you make them accountable. You got to make them accountable. Mm-hmm. You you know you got you to. to make mm-hmm. them accountable, or if not, the bridges are going to continue to burn. Yeah, they're going to continue to burn. Mm-hmm. You know, and within the family unit is so. Oh yeah, oh yeah, definitely. Remember the movie Soul Food? Yeah. Vanessa Williams was the responsible. She's a lawyer. She had oh, money. Yeah. Anytime there was a problem. They all ran to her. But eventually she was like, enough to know. Nah, I'm sick of this. Yeah. Every time it's a problem, y'all come running to me. I'm sick yeah. of this. This yeah. is ridiculous. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Then you're acting funny. Yeah, that's just how they start treating <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're acting funny. You're acting funny. <laughs> you all bougie. Yeah. Yeah, you acting funny. <laughs> but, but nobody yeah. is trying to be a coward because they just go, no, just let her pay for everything. Yeah. yeah. She got it. Yeah. And it's okay yeah. to reward your kid, but it's a limit. Mm-hmm. You got to learn stuff today. Yes. Mm-hmm. You can't keep giving and giving and giving. Because mm-hmm. whatever they're giving you, Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. you crazy all the hospitals up in them come see you now. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, man, Boy, that's a whole other good, good topic. topic. It is. Right? Yeah. You know, damn God forgive you, you don't kick the over. Who got the wheel? I, I got to have mine. She yeah, what I, he leave for me? She said, yeah. I can have it right here now. Yep. I got mine. Yeah. You know what I mean? Huh? Mm-hmm. But where is, the, is it in black and white? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is it in the wig and the wheel? Mm-hmm. No, but no, she told I can have it right here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 But, but you know, it's like. Yeah. You have one person that, when you brought up soul food, that does everything. Mm-hmm. And the expectations Dang are it. that they're going to do it. Yep. You know. That's great. And, and even like, you know, a lot, most families now have family group texts where they'll say, like, so and so and so. Going to bring this. Yeah. Yeah, 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 exactly. Um, I have a cousin who mm-hmm. has just been convicted for, for a crime. Mm-hmm. So we get this message, mm-hmm. you know, that it's happening. 
what you know what as a family we're expected to do mm -hmm. and i'm like oh, I, i'm with you because it's like mm -hmm. i don't know the last time he visited me not alone even communicate with me mm -hmm. it'd be different if there was some type of bond we had something but yeah, something. he just here to take mm -hmm. yeah. And I can tell you, even if I, I bled, sweat, tears, and everything, and gave him all that I got to give him out, mm -hmm. he gonna forget about me the day he get out. Get out. Mm -hmm. And this is what jokes don't be accountable to realize. Wait a minute. Like you said, the word accountability. Realize who has been there for you, who has been your support system, who yeah, is solid know. with you. Why would you screw them people? Mm -hmm. Why would you play that person? You could go play Lotto, but don't play me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a good one. And just what you said. You mean? I had. Did that, you mean? Mm -hmm. Okay. Then I would say, well, look what happened. You know, I, I, I have been here for you. Okay. And now you're giving me your behind the kids. Mm -hmm. you know? And you'll be saying, well, I didn't change the dude. You didn't oh, my. Oh. You know how many Judge Judy, Judge oh. Faith, we seen that? You know they get them out of jail. They say, well, I didn't tell you to get me out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wait a minute, didn't you call him? Yeah, yes, you did. Because yeah. I didn't even know, how would I know you were there? Yeah, that's what the judge said. Then the judge said, well, how did you know you were there? Well, um, well, I just called just to say that I was here, but I didn't ask him to get me out. Mm -hmm. Bull crap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't ask you, <laughs> you, know what's, to you know what's okay. crazy about what you're just talking about? Imagine our kids. Mm -hmm. they, they're growing up in this society they everything they spend so much time on the phone and all that mm -hmm. and they have their con their phones because without their phones they can't live they're lost yeah. yeah they're lost but as, as we bring them as parents we bring them to this world and we give them 100 100 mm -hmm. percent with no excuses it is a lot of sacrifice but you know what's more hurting that even our own kids when they grow up they get more and more older and it kind of eats me up Ooh, definitely. when they grow up they think it's that we are a burden as a parent mm -hmm. that we can we they all oh, uh, we don't we're not important mm -hmm. as the way we gave up as the way we show them that they are important to us yeah. sacrifice a lot Mm -hmm. You yeah. sacrificed a lot That's for them. Like, exactly. Yeah. Right. And then the older we get, and the older they get, it's like they looking at us like the less attention mm -hmm. they're giving us. Mm -hmm. And they if we regret. call them, and if we call them, they say, like, oh, they can wait. Yeah. yeah. And all that, and all oh, that. Yeah, they yeah. push yeah. that red yeah. button quick. Yeah. Yeah. On that their phone. friend call. Oh, yeah, they're my friend. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah. What you talking about? They push about? that red button, that yeah. ignore button yeah. on that phone. Yeah. Okay. I'll call her back. Yeah. I'll call her back. And they don't realize that. All the kids out there listening and young heads yeah, listening that the day that y'all in a severe situation, yeah. the first who y'all first gonna be calling? Not your friend. Ma exactly. <laughs> it's gonna be mommy and daddy. Yeah. Yeah. People that know people that truly loves you. Mm -hmm. They're gonna say, Dad, why I treated mommy and daddy like that? Or it could be an auntie or grandmother. Why do we treat them like that? Mm -hmm. But it's not only our own kids. Mm -hmm. It's it's people, period. Mm -hmm. That when you have people that loves you and truly showed you the mm -hmm. 100 mm -hmm. and you give them in return, what, 20, 20% yeah. or 10%? Yeah. Well, we're talking um, about it's like, it's like when you give advice to family and friends or whoever, and then they don't take it. And then they get right. locked up and they call you from prison. You be looking at like... <laughs> Yeah. 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 You need my help. You ain't gonna do nothing I say. Yeah. 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 And it may seem cruel, but <laughs> but when I tried to tell you, you didn't listen. Yes. Mm -hmm. So uh, you're not gonna listen now just because you're locked up. You're, mm -hmm. not, you're not gonna yeah. listen. They make all these problems when they locked up. You know? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, it's just it, it really that. it really eats me up to know that you got true people out there. And and it's very little, and you can actually count them. Yeah. And yeah. and those are the people around you, and you don't appreciate them. Mm -hmm. You take advantage of them, and it's like mm -hmm. now when you're in a situation, you mm -hmm. want feels as if you gotta come to me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So how many friends, friends you got? Yeah, yeah. I got two thousand. 
Yeah. What is that? Oh, yeah. really? Yeah, yeah. Nice. yeah. Nice. yeah. Nice. Yeah. Nice. yeah. Call them. Do we call them? Go call them. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Go call them. Tell me the responsible guys of them 2000. Then you're going to find out the hard way. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Then you're going to be like, damn, I had a solid one with these people. There you go. There you go. She was solid. She came through for me a lot. But now I've burned that bridge. Burn the bridge. Burn that bridge. So guess what? How you going to get back across? Yeah. You don't burn that bridge. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You got to build one for yourself now. All right, folks, so in closing, my in closing statement is title of the video, Burning Bridges. If you got someone solid in your family or friends, know it and show it. Yeah. Don't burn that bridge because as Marv said here, when you got to get back across that bridge, you're going to see all them other people you gave attention to, they're going to be the ones that let you down. And that's when you're going to be looking at the one that was solid, but that one done got rid of you. Now. You don't realize Absolutely. what I'm saying. Absolutely. That's my in closing. Any in closing exactly. for you guys? Just be a person of your word. Yes. Just Take honor it. your word. Yes. It means a lot. It takes you a lot of places. Oh, yeah. If I tell you I'm going to do something, do it. Mm -hmm. And everybody is not your friend. You will Ooh. find out who your real friends are. Oh, that test is coming. Mm -hmm. Believe me, that test is coming. You know? mm -hmm. And you will know. Mm -hmm. How about you, Jeff? And have great respect for people that give you the 100 respect. Absolutely. Don't give them mediocre. Mm -hmm. So starting with your with the kids and the people, it's for everybody. Mm -hmm. Someone gives you one hundred, give them one hundred back. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And on that note, peace. <laughs>